Hello everybody, it's Tom and Jerry Fan 64 here. It's now time to do my entire book collection, all the books I have. I don't normally do videos like this, but I'm going to show them anyway. And I and I will be reviewing the first the 2010 Diary of Wimpy Kid movie after this, by the way. So here we go. First up, I got Dogman Brawl of the Wild. Then I got Dogman for Whom the Ball Rolls, and the last Dogman book I have is Dogman Fetch 22. I used to have the first two books, but of Dogman, but I got rid of I got rid of them for no reason. Captain Underpants and the Big Bad Battle of the Vinyl and Burger Boy Part One, the, na the Nasty Nostril Nuggets. I do like Captain Underpants, so yeah, please don't judge me. Here's my Diary of a Wimpy Kid book collection. I got the the last straw, which is the third book in the series. Cabin Fever. The Third Wheel, which is the se the seventh book in the series, while the Cabin Fever is the sixth book in the series. I used to have the original Diary of a Wimpy Kid book, along with The Ugly Truth, but I, I no longer have those, unfortunately. I got Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Wimpy Kid Hard Luck, which is the eighth book in the series. I got The Long Haul, which is number nine in the series. So there, there will be videos where I don't, Talk about movies like doing my book collection. I just felt like doing it. And if you guys haven't read the Diary of Wimpy Kid books, I recommend them. So yeah, The Long Haul. This one was released and was made into a movie. I used to have Roderick Rules as well, but I didn't. I, I got rid of that one a long time ago. I got Diary of Wimpy Kid Old School. I like that this has... I, I prefer these books with the hard covers. This one's Diary of Wimpy Kid Old School, which is the 10th book in the series. We have three more, two more, three more Diary of a Wimpy Kid books. I got Diary of a Wimpy Kid, The Getaway. Probably the most underrated of the Diary of a Wimpy Kid books. And this is the 12th book in the series. And I also got, and the last regular Diary of a Wimpy Kid book I got is Wrecking Ball, which is the 14th book in the series. I used to have Devil Down, but I don't know what happened to that one. And the last Diary of a Wimpy Kid book I got is Diary of an Awesome Friendly Kid by Ra Raleigh Jefferson's Journal. This was a pretty good book, too. And I, and I got Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. The book includes eight pages of color photos and a poster. I got rid of the poster a long time ago. This book I got from Safeway. I'm glad I got this one. I do have the movie of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 on Blu-ray. And here are the hardcover that are the bigger book covers. This one did have the artwork, but it, it's called... The Bear and the Dragon by Tom Clancy. Rest in peace. And these next four books I got from my foster dad, Ron. These next one, two, three, four, five, actually, I got from my foster dad, Ron. I got Classic Tales of Science Fiction and Fantasy, which includes books by... Short stories by Edward Bellamy, Edgar Rice Burroughs, Arthur Conan Doyle, Charlotte Perkins Gilman, Jack in London, H.P. Lovecraft, Philip Francis Nowlin, Fitz James O'Brien, Jules Verne, and H.G. Wells. So that's going to be interesting. And I got the select works of Jack London, which includes The Call of the Wild, which I actually have the 2020 movie of that one by 20th Century Studios on Blu-ray. The Sea Wolf, White Fang, and other stories. I used to have the movie White Fang on VHS, but I got rid of it for no reason. And I got the The Arabian Nights, which is translated by Sir Richard Burton, the late Richard Burton. And I got this one doesn't have artwork, but it is Blood and Treasure. See, I'm gonna show the inside. It's really beautiful. So yeah. Next up, I got The Bomber Mafia by Malcolm Cladwell. I've never heard of this book, but I'm really interested in it. I got these next three books I got from the Dollar Tree. Wait a minute, the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 book I actually got from Dollar Tree, actually. This was this one's the inevitable, the inevitable Conclusion of Birdie and Bash. And I got The Believer by Joachim Zander, if, who, however you pronounce his name. And I got The Tomorrow War, Tomorrow War Serpent Road, which I don't think has anything to, which I don't think has anything to do with the new Tomorrow War movie. 
And here are the smaller book covers. I got The Big Sky, which I got from my foster dad, Ron. He, I bought it from him. This is a really good book from what I've read. Flags of Our Fathers. I hope to get the movie adaptation of this one. Crime and Punishment by uh, F o Do F Fyodor Dostovsky. I can't pronounce it. And by the way, guys, before I go to the, the last three books, I do, I'm, I'm going to be, after this week, there's no, I have, I'm on Christmas break. I'm going to be on Christmas break after this week. I got The Outsider, now an HBO series, miniseries from Stephen King. I read bits and pieces of this book. It's pretty good so far. And these last two are John Grisham books. I got A Time to Kill, which I do hope to get the movie sometime. The book is really good. From what I've read. And lastly, The Last Juror, which I have not read. So yeah, that is it for my my entire book collection. And which I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I decided to make something a little bit more unique. So that is it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you're generous enough, please consider leaving a like on this video and subscribe. Plus it really helps out. And I'll see you guys on my next video, which will be a movie review to the 2010 movie Diary of a, of a, Diary of a Wimpy Kid. So I'll see you guys then. Adios.